Hey Duckers, it's been a while since we've had a stable channel update, but we finally got a huge Steam Deck input related update from the beta and preview channels. Now there's still a ton of updates that we're not getting yet from the beta channel, so we'll keep an eye out on that. But there is a few updates from this that I want to call out, specifically the media page and this virtual menu update. You can hear a lot of people raving about these virtual menus because this is a huge overhaul of what these are. And if you don't know what these are, I'm going to cover these so that you can understand just how powerful these are. There's a whole host of other quality of life improvements that are absolutely fantastic for those using the on-screen keyboards and other bits and pieces. I'll leave you to have a look at the release notes for those minor items. But first, there's just one other piece of news that I wanted to cover. Not exactly Steam Deck related, but Steam related nonetheless. The charts pages for steam have had a complete overhaul you can now see on your screen if you go to store.steampower.com forward slash charts we now have the top steam games top sellers and most played all in one place most played by current players shows the current and peak today and top sellers is now a live chart so you can see that modern warfare 2 is well up there at the top with slime rancher 2 and surprisingly cyberpunk 2077 is still in the top three here and we can even go back and look at the weekly charts now modern warfare has knocked steam deck off the top as it stands right now but if you look, Steam Deck has been the top seller for the last 30 weeks. So Steam Deck is still very popular. Modern Warfare is definitely the game of the moment. So we can look at the top 100 players by the daily count and also the current players. So there we have it. That's the Steam charts. I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of this as it's always good to see what's going on. But let's dive into the two big ticket items here. First off, a media page complete overhaul. You can now see all your screenshots much easier, much clearer, and navigate through these much, much better on the Steam Deck. Now, I'm not a huge screenshot taker, but this is a nice improvement, and I really should take some more. Now, onto the big item. Now, virtual menus probably doesn't sound like anything too fancy, but this just brings the power of the Steam Deck into a whole new league. Virtual menus now has its own menu in the controller configuration, and most often is used with the trackpads. You may have seen this before as the radial menu, but we also have this touch menu option and both of these are classed as virtual menus. So let's have a quick look at a touch menu. I'm just gonna create a very quick one here, running Tales of Arise. And these menus are extremely powerful for MMORPGs or any RPG where you need a whole host of keyboard commands at the touch. So I'm just gonna whiz through a setup here, picking some basic commands. And you'll see that as I'm creating these, you can see the layout in the bottom left, how this is going to appear on that touch menu. So not only have you got this overall menu type that you can do this, you can map each of these buttons individually as well and reorder them so that they're in a better order for you. And the last thing with these is these are now their own sets. So you can now use these virtual menus like action sets and swap these over with your other command options as well or duplicate them across multiple keys or the configs without having to completely redo them every time. What do these look like? So this touch menu is the one that I just created. You see that I've got all of these options now clearly laid out and I press and hold the touch pad on the right, which is the one that I mapped it to. And just clicking on the touch pad will then launch any of these options. Now you may have previously seen the radio menu being used. You can see that this has had another overhaul as well, having the button menu here. And if you can't remember what that used to look like, here's some footage from our Star Wars The Old Republic video showing that old style radial menu and why that this is such a big update overall. So you can even change the positioning of where these appear on the screen as well. So it will make using these new virtual menus much, much simpler. If you're into these style of games, this is absolutely huge. The Steam Deck continues to astound with its flexibility and updates for the Steam Deck and controller functions overall. And it's really exciting to see what people do with this in future. Let us know what you think of this update and if there's anything in the preview channel that you can't wait to hit stable. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.